Well, hello! I'm Shadi, and this is Adventure 27 of 40 Before 40. Today's October 17th. It's a beautiful fall afternoon, and my adventure today just ended, but the feeling of the adventure will be with me all day, and that adventure is a super fun portfolio shoot with Wilhelmina talent agency here in Denver. I was in the middle of a job transition. I had practiced law at an immigration law firm for a little while and I was looking for what was next because I realized law practice like that didn't bring me a lot of joy and I started applying to schools again because I realized my heart does lie with teaching and in the middle of that transition I said you know I was just um, reflecting and having a heart-to-heart -heart with my friend and I said you know it would be so cool if I could do something creative full-time like had my own creative business or um, had some kind of an art that I did full-time for myself and he slept on it and in the morning I woke up and there was an email and this email said why don't you try out for this talent agency you love to act I usually do like a play a year um, since 2015 maybe the past five years and I, I'm really expressive I love um, performing arts um, and theater and it, there was a link to Willowmania talent and there were auditions for the public on Mondays you just had to turn in some pictures and then show up at a certain time and I thought it was a long shot for me because my confidence about how I look, I mean, I think I'm cute, I think I'm silly, and I have a certain charm, but I didn't think like talent agency model kind of thing. I went to the audition and there was a room full of people who didn't really look too much like me. And the girl before me really didn't look like me. She's just this gorgeous blonde. And I remember hearing the person auditioning saying that she got a contract and she'll have it emailed to her. So when I went in, <laughs> I was next. I didn't get the news of having a contract emailed to me right away, right after. Uh, so I didn't think that I made it. And then a couple weeks later, I want to say it was like two weeks, three weeks later, I got the email that I made it to the agency. And they serve um, Denver. I'm not sure if it's also the greater Colorado area. I'll learn more. And I heard the industry here is a lot of like commercial work. And, you know, I'd love to do theater and film as a writer, you know, wouldn't it be cool to like write and perform in my own short film or something like that? Um, but I want to build my resume as an actress and I want to have fun with it. I think women of color should represent in media and on TV and in any way possible. And we should redefine, you know, beauty to young girls and we should show self-love and acceptance. And so I'm excited about this new journey. I think it's something really positive in the middle of a pandemic to do. And I don't know exactly how much work there will be, but, um, but I'm going to let it come and respond to anything that comes my way from this in a positive way. So I went this morning um, at about, uh, oh, there's sprinklers that way. Let's not go that way. <laughs> the trees are so beautiful. I love fall, it's my favorite season. Um, I went this morning at 8 o'clock to a place called Glam House and got my hair done and then I went to Wilhelmina, Denver. I had to unload like practically like three-fourths of my closet. <laughs> they give you a big packing list. I've been prepared for months. I was supposed to go late August, August 23rd, but um, there was a really bad heat weather advisory due to the smoke. And I fell sick that weekend and I, and I had to reschedule and they rescheduled me today, which worked out perfectly. And when I got there, there were a couple other people doing shoots. Um, there was a rack, I filled up my clothes and, and then <laughs> the staff there was like so awesome. They had me try on different outfits and picked three, did my hair and makeup and just had a really fun shoot. I got a lot of positive feedback. The photographer said that I should come and try to show other people how to move because sometimes people aren't as expressive and, and they stand still for too long and she just really appreciated my positive spirit and my movement 
and I really super appreciated that. My um, my my fun person who did, does makeup, her and I talked a lot. She's Irish. We talked about um, the importance of like passing along one's cultural heritage um, to your children and to others, which I really love to do. And we talked about teaching because she has a freshman and I teach high school and I teach freshmen as well. And she's talking about how it's important not to impose your political viewpoints on children these days, even though you have that influence as a teacher, not to over overuse that. So <laughs> that happened. And um, my stylist and I, we connected because she has a wedding coming up next year and she's been planning. And I gave her a fun suggestion for her wedding, which was like love letters in a box. So connected with each of them, good conversation, really good looks. Um, one of the looks was like a professional look. It was very like black leather skirt and like a top and they added a really nice belt, which I wouldn't think to do. Um, more of like, yeah, like a professional look. And the second one was more fun. It was a green jumper I wore and she paired it with some shoes that I wouldn't have thought to pair it with, um, but really cute look. And then the last one was this dress. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> and she paired it with some fun tennis shoes. Can you see it? <laughs> it's like long and flowing and fun. Nico's dragging me. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna wear this last look the rest of the day because it's just a fun, comfortable look. And honestly, I feel like Cinderella. <laughs> it's a really good feeling. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Again, something positive to do in the middle of this pandemic. Self-love, feel beautiful, and um, just put yourself out there in the world to see, for everyone to see, right? Hi everyone, do you see me? <laughs> I see you. <laughs> okay, um, I'm being silly now. My arm hurts from holding this up. I don't know why. I swear I'm not like that, like not fit, but I just think I've been moving around a lot today for a camera, so I'm just a little tired. But thank you for tuning in. Another look at the beautiful fall trees. You know, I love fall in Western New York so much and being able to still have it here, not exactly the same, but each with its own unique charm is still really lovely and I'm thankful for it. All right, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time for my next adventure. I'm gonna rock this cute dress with my tennis. Bye!